Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be talking about the EPA shutting down deleted diesel pickups. But first, let's have some fun. Okay guys, start with, if you're new to my channel, this here is my 2000 F250 7.3 liter power stroke. With a gay tip on it. Gay 11 inch lift, because of the blocks. But we're not here to talk about it, well we are here to talk about it today. But mainly about deleted trucks the EPA is shutting down the deleted diesel market so what's that going to do to these trucks like this nothing except for driving them up in price I believe that these trucks seven threes and uh, 12 valves and all that good stuff may go up in value now I know a lot of y'all just want new trucks and delete them. But if you ain't done deleted your truck, you're screwed. Shouldn't have spent that money on them new wheels and squatting it. Shouldn't have had deleted it. I'm lucky. I don't have to delete my truck. It don't have no regen. It don't have no dead fuel. Oh, it's got a sex appeal. So the EPA is shutting down the market on deletes for diesel trucks. That means no more aftermarket exhaust, no more deleting death, all that good crap. So if you live in a state like California, you're screwed anyway. All the strict emission laws out there. This truck here is completely illegal in the state of California. What are you going to do? Well, guys, you don't really have any alternative. If you got a new truck, it ain't deleted, you're screwed. But, here's an alternative. Go find you an old truck like this, 7.3. Put a late model dash and seats in it. 2011 to 15 front cap will fit this truck. Well, a small conversion. And you have the dependability of the 7.3. I know it's not a 6.7, and thank God it's not a 6.0 or 6.4, but it is what it is. It's old clapped out 7.3. That runs awesome, by the way. But the EPA has shut it down. No more deleted diesels. What's that going to do to the market of diesel trucks? Tell you what it's going to do to the diesel market. Diesel pickup world, this truck world, is going to suck from now on. Unless you get something like this, upgrade it. Because you can't delete a new truck no more, guys. It's done. Now they're claiming, some companies are claiming, that they can get more power out of a truck with new programmers and what have you. And tuners with the def system and everything else left on it and exhaust than what they could delete it. But they only claim this after the EPA has shut them down on deleting trucks. So do I buy into that? Do I believe it? No, I don't believe it. But that's my opinion. Anybody smart would know if they get more power. Well, the truck not deleted, why not do that way? 
start with. Because they're full of crap. That's why. That's the only reason. And states like California is going to be setting up small checkpoints to check diesel trucks. So, yeah. That will never be going to California. Unless one of you guys want to buy this truck and take it out there. Then you can do whatever you want to to it. I don't care. So I know that that thing is going to be blowing some people's heads up. Liberals. <coughs> yeah. But I don't live in California. Thank the good Lord. That horse fly right there would be outlaw in the state of California. If you live in California or a state like California, my suggestion is to move the hell away. Get out of there. Now. Before it's too late. Now the only thing I've run on my truck is the Bully Dog Triple Dog. It's not the best tuner, downloader, whatever you want to call it, but makes this truck scoot. I also use Power Service Diesel Fuel Supplement sometimes. Sometimes I don't. So to sum it up, guys, if you want a new diesel truck, you're not going to get it deleted. So why make new truck payments on a truck that you're never going to like? Just saying. I know a lot of y'all out there saying, yeah, but look at the footprint. Diesel trucks leave. Look at the footprint lithium battery, but uh, lithium strip mining leaves for lithium batteries for electric cars. Then get back to me. That's going to be about it for this video, guys. I just want to talk about the EPA shutting down uh, basically the whole diesel truck market for newer trucks. I mean, who wants to go buy a brand new $60,000 $70,000 diesel truck and can't do nothing to it? Sad. That's the world we live in. That's our government. But it is what it is. Emission laws in place. I guess we gotta follow them. Or do we? That's gonna be the end of this rant, guys. Let y'all know about the EPA and diesel trucks. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to follow the build of the L250. Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all next time.